This holiday is one of the busiest times of year for animal shelters. They are overrun with pets. They get spooked by those fireworks. Fun to watch, not fun to hear for them. Unfortunately, they run off. So the question is, how can you protect your four-legged loves? And what should you do if, unfortunately, you lose a pet or perhaps you uh, see a lost pet? We are joined by AHS spokesperson Kelsey Dickerson. You are an expert in this. This isn't your first rodeo. And unfortunately, you have seen this before, I'm sure. Absolutely. Every year, you know, uh, not only are the, is the summertime a really busy time of year, we're mm -hmm. already overcrowded and yeah. over capacity in a lot of the shelters. But like you mentioned, it is the number one time of year for our pets to go missing. So we really want to be able to stress the to the community mm -hmm. about different ways to be able to keep your pets safe and in their loving homes where they belong. And you guys, I know that we have run so many stories just how uh, over capacity you guys are right now. Is this there this fear of, oh my goodness, how many dogs are going to come in? And yes, pets? absolutely. So we're so grateful. You know, we did just have a huge adoption special, mm -hmm. which is still going on. So zero dollar adoptions through July 7th. But we always brace ourselves, especially our, especially our animal assistance department, which really works to be able to help reunite pets when they do go missing. So first and foremost, we want to make sure pet owners out there have their pets with updated microchips mm. and tags. Mm -hmm. It is estimated that one in three pets will go missing in their lifetime. That microchip is the number one way to be able to get them back home. Um, and then of course, having a safe space indoors that mm. is escape proof. So making sure that they are really occupied with a lot of toys, you know, fresh water, mm. um, a lot of high value treats, and of course, playing the radio and TV to be able to drown out those really scary noises. And if your pet does show, maybe they have heightened anxiety, you mm -hmm. can consult with your vet for medications or get a Thunder shirt. You know, they're pretty cheap at yeah. your local veterinarian or um, pet supply store. And I'd also read that you can get, if you can't find a Thunder shirt, perhaps, uh, you can get one of your shirts and kind of wrap them, kind of uh, bundle them up in it. Um, so you want to make sure that the stuff like, you know, fits really well and you okay. want to be able to make sure that you're uh, watching it, you know, and yeah. not leaving them unattended with things like that. But you know what, a shirt of yours or a blanket of yours that smells like you would okay. be very uh, comforting to them. And of course, do not take your pets to the fireworks shows. Don't leave them unattended in the backyard. Make sure you have them on a leash. Um, and then of course, too, if you do see a pet in distress, the Arizona Humane Society's field team will be open tomorrow for, with mm -hmm. limited availability. Um, but just really making sure that you're keeping an eye on your pets because not only is the fireworks um, really dangerous and scary for yeah. our pets but also it's really hot out there so just keeping them indoors and safe with plenty of water. Absolutely such a great tip about about the shirt and just always watching them. Uh, what would you say for people out there let's say they did everything right and unfortunately their dog runs off or their cat runs off, something happens. Of course, you know, accidents do happen. We do see that a lot, even when we're trying our hardest to be able to keep them indoors and safe. You know, they are very crafty when they're scared and people <laughs> yes, coming are. in and out of the door. So uh, the Arizona Humane Society's website at azhumane.org slash lost pet has a lot of great tips on be able, being able to help get them back home. Of course, checking your local shelters, your local veterinary clinics, posting mm -hmm. flyers, and also the power of social media is yeah. incredible. I've actually helped reunite a pet myself through social media. Um, so just making sure that you're taking them to, um, you're checking, you know, those local veterinarians. And if you do find a lost pet, yes. taking them to a local vet to see if they are microchipped so that way you can get them back in their home. But of course, mm -hmm. like I mentioned, azhumane.org slash lost pet. And then our animal assistance team will be open on Friday morning okay. if you are wanting to check for your pet. Perfect. Hopefully you won't have to. Yes. Hopefully you guys won't see an influx, <laughs> but all great tips. Thank you so much Thank for that. Thank you.